today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a sliding text effect. Stay tuned. Welcome, my name is Trish and I'm going to take you through a step to step on how to create this effect. The first thing we're going to do is to type in our text, but we want to make sure we have the right color selected. So with our foreground and background, you typically have it as a black and white. So I'm going to click on my black and I'm going to change it to like, um, like an orange. I'm going to click OK. And what I'm going to do is begin putting in my text. So I'm just going to click inside my canvas and I'm just going to type in the word. And now what I want to do, the text looks a little bit smaller. So I'm going to click on my move tool. I'm going to drag the text a little bit up and I'm going to press down my shift key and I'm going to drag one end of my text so I can scale it. And I'm going to double click to deselect and move my text. So now that I have my text, I can move my text up and down. And because I have my snap already on, it snaps to the center of my um, canvas for me. So now that I have that, what I want to do is to create a duplicate of my text. So I'm going to click on the text layer and I'm going to drag it all the way down to my duplicate layer to create a duplicate for me. I'm going to deselect and what I'm going to do now is to create the sliding effect. To do that, I'm going to click on my lasso tool and I'm going to draw a diagonal line between my text. So I'm going to start from one end of my text and take it to the other end. And then I'm going to create a selection around my text. So we see that now the text has been selected. So what I'm going to do is click on my original text layer and I'm going to go to layer and we are going to use the layer max and I'm going to choose reveal selection and it will generate a layer max for me. And now the next thing we are going to do is the same step repeated but this time we are going to choose height selection. So what I'm going to do in order to reselect um, our text, I'm going to click on my control on my keypad and I'm going to click on my layer max that was just generated and it will reselect that region of the text. And now what I'm going to do is go back to layer and then choose, oops, I made a mistake. I need to make sure that I have my text selected first. And I'm going to go to layer and then choose layer max. And this time we want to choose hide selection. So with that, another um, layer max is created for us, but this time it's the inverse. So always remember white reveals and black height. So as you can see in the layers, sliding copy has the layer max, which is hiding. And then the sliding text in the bottom is actually revealing. And that's what you want. And now with that, with my move tool selected, I'm going to make a selection of the bottom text and I'm going to use my top and down and also side arrows to move my text. I'm going to move it up and then I'm going to take it to the left with my left arrow. And that's basically how you create this text. So the last thing we're going to do is add a gradient effect shadow to our text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my text with it already selected. I want to make sure that my foreground is black and I have my gradient selected. I'm going to drag from the top to the bottom. You see that a shadow has been created for us. I'm going to also click the other text and I'm going to repeat the same 
um, step from top to bottom. And as you can see, it adds a little bit more interest to it. So there you have it. This is the sliding text effect. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful and it's something you're going to use in your creative design. Please like and comment below. Let me know if you have even used this text effect before. Uh, don't forget to also turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.